Instead of starting this saying 36 weeks of Nightwave Glassmaker Series 3, how about we start by saying Nightwave Glassmaker. Two weeks till it ends. This is the second last week before this ends. It will be ending next week. The end of next week, you will still have the full next week. So there's two full weeks left, starting with this one. The Elite Act this week completes six real... Eight real jacks, where I get six from, and kill or convert a Kuvalich. If you have one active, that is great. If you don't, not so much. Normal acts, complete three capture missions, complete nine invasion missions of any type, while piloting a hijacked cruise ship, destroy three enemy fighters. If you have eight chances to do that, and it's actually really easy to do, um, Clear a real jack boarding party without your Warframe taking damage. Hmm. And find all caches in three sabotage missions. The fact that there's three different real jack ones here makes me wonder. Does that mean that this long awaited update is going to come this week with the three real jack ones? Who knows? Have not been told anything either way, so. We can cross our fingers and hope on the update, but it is uh, slim to none, considering, well, it's only 15 days before the next Prime's supposed to be here as well. 75 days since Neja was here, usually lasts 90 days, so 15 days till the next Prime. Just because I know somebody's going to question my math on this one. As for offerings, remembering, two weeks left, you want to spend those crystal creds while you can because once this does come to an end and intermission starts um, you won't be able to spend them on anything that don't transfer over so there is Kuva, Nyatan, Vorban, Parts, Catalyst, Reactor, Helmets, many... <laughs> Mag's Gore's helmet is here um, many helmets just depends which one you want for which frame um, kind of hoping that there's some good stuff for the next two weeks considering this ends the end of next week. There is this week, next week, two weeks left of this, then it's gone. As for auras, physique plus 90% health, pistol scavenger plus 150% ammo pickup. Obviously, for pistol, before I do move on, EMP aura minus 15% hit chance for Corbus, rejuvenation plus 3 heal rate, energy siphon plus 0 0.6 energy recharge rate, and speed holster. 120% holster speed. There is the Tonko Desert Camo skin. I do actually kind of like that. The more I see it, it, it grows on you very quickly. The Dagger Axe skin for obviously the giant battle axe does go well with the... I think it's the Dagger Axe skins. There is the... Oh, I wanted this one but I don't have any crystal crits. The Pyrona Cyanoid skin. Hopefully that will return in some other form. Hopefully it will just, because it is in the rewards, not in the rewards for actually doing it. It's in the cred offerings. They will still be available when the intermission starts. There is the Manticore skin, again for the giant <laughs> battle axe. There is the Glaive. This is, of course, the Glaive weapon blueprint. Um, it helps if you actually there it goes throwable melee to get the blueprint for this to build it you can of course get it from daily login as well there's the falco shock camo skin blueprints for skins which i still think is weird having a skin for a blueprint rather than just the blueprint but oh well there is the jaw sword this is again a melee weapon this is an actual weapon Kind of hope one day that gets a massive buff, if I'm being honest. It is one of the starter based weapons. As for augments, there is minus 60% damage, but plus 200% multi shot for the Maylock. Ivara's Quiver Augment, Volt's Electronic Shield Augment, Atlas's Rumbler Augment, and Ember's Fire Blast Augment. Ooh! as well as the plus 80% projectile speed when aiming for the Tetra. That's another explanation mark for the thing in the description for how many weeks uh, 
yeah, Gauza's mag helmet hasn't been here. Um, it kind of has to turn up next week at this point. Otherwise, well, it just has to turn up next week. I'll be the first thing to come in intermission. Don't know if intermission is going to start when this does come to an end, but spending those crystal creds before this does end on the 24th of January is kind of a big thing because, well, you cannot transfer them over to intermission and then you basically just have to sell them for credits. But that's about it for another week, so we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.